congratulations to Mr. Vivek Agnihotri for a very gripping kind of a narration. It is not a story of the Mughal times or ancient India. It is just two decades ago. And most of us were deaf in this country. We were blind in this country. We did not know that one part of this country was weeping. It is such a shame and whoever is responsible for this crime, they must be hanged from the nearest electricity pole. All the institutions in this country must bring these criminals to book. I am ashamed that even now the media which talks about their freedom is scared to highlight this story of the Kashmiri Pandits. I appeal to them that if they don't change their color, if they don't learn to be courageous, they would become irrelevant, not before long. The media must wake up. They must open their eyes and see the reality. The academics must wake up. They must write fearlessly. The administrative systems must wake up to protect constitutional rights. I think they brought out very well how these institutions are. They were ruined in Kashmir. They are getting ruined in different parts of the country. What has happened in Kashmir yesterday can happen in the rest of the country either today or tomorrow. So as citizens, I think this movie is pinching us to wake up from our stupor and to open our eyes and see that we have to be enlightened citizens in this country if we want this country to progress. <coughs> I am very grateful for the screening, opportunity to see and I once again I am hanging my head in shame that I did not know anything about this when so much of destruction was happening right in our country. And I wish that we do justice to the pundits as quickly as possible. I appeal from here to our Prime Minister who is the only hope to revive in everyone confidence to live freely in this country that he must do immediately something and I am ready to 